Cause look, man, so this is uh, another, uh, another part also. So I'm gonna show you two people solving these questions. These are either the bottom of the basement. So they say find the question of parabola. So we got two methods or more than two methods that I can solve this question. But I'm gonna show you two quick. So it's okay. So the first one, the first method, say, I could have seen, I could have seen, say, okay. So I say, why? See, why? Because remember why this part I makes mean, easy, man. X1, and you got X minus x2 so x1 and x2 these are x intercept so i'm saying x1 x2 is an x intercept and these are x intercept and these are x intercept so what is the x intercept one so i'm going to say one so say x minus one x what is the other x intercept five so i'll say minus five they put bracket and they multiply by a equal to y what is a a <coughs> excuse me these are the coefficients of quadratic i'm going to show you how so for this case here look this a must be negative before we solve it has to be negative you know why it has to be negative because this parabola look at this parabola it can come downwards so by any means it has to be negative because you know whenever the uh, this a is negative the parabola has to come downward when it's positive a parabola has to come upward so before even a solve it i don't have to get a equal negative something so i don't know for now but it has to be negative okay okay so we go okay so now we're going to have to look in the other coordinate lie on the parabola, apart from this x-intercept. Okay, let's look now. No, 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 no. Apart from x-intercept, which we have already substituted here, right? We have already substituted x-intercept. So we look in the other coordinate, which lies on this parabola, right? So let's go. So we say, okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, this one here, you see, own parabola, but we don't have other ones, so three and two. But if you have anything else, you can take it too. See what I'm saying? But we only have a, only one, which here at the time of print. So our x equal to 3, y equal to 2. So I'm going to say, okay, so y2 and 3. So y is going to be equal to 2, and this is going to be a, and x3 minus 1, same thing x3 minus 5. So we can simplify now. Okay, so let's simplify. 3 minus 2, 3 minus 1 equals 2. Multiply 3 minus 5 equals negative 2, and then multiply by a, and then equals 2. So now let's simplify further. So now this will be negative 4 times a, negative 4 times a equal to 2. So this is going to be negative 4, a equal to 2, a times negative 4, negative 4, a equal to 2. And then divide by negative 4, divide by negative 4. So a equal to 2 over negative 4. Because divide by negative 4, divide by negative 4. So 2 over negative 4, let's simplify. So when you simplify, you're going to get by 2, 1, by 2, 2. So which is going to be negative, aha, uh -huh, equal to a. So you see, our a equal to negative half. So for that case, now we got a. So we can substitute back into our main, our this equation here. Let's call it face equation. Can you because if I substitute a, then everything is done. So let's substitute back. Get the value of a into back. So substitute the question one. So say, substitute into one. So one is going to become y equal to, what is it, a? We got a. A equal to negative half, and then this is going to become x minus 1, and this is going to be x minus 3, and then let's expand now, done, so y equal to, or let's expand here, so negative half, okay, x times x, x squared, shortcut now, x times x, x squared, x times negative 3, negative 3, x, negative 1 times 1, negative x, and that negative 3, negative 4, x, so we got negative 4, x negative 1 times negative 1 positive 3 so probably the factor right but if you're not in fast pace you can tag it and settle multiply slowly but that's how you do shortcuts so it's okay so everything multiplied by half so our y is going to become so just array this one so our parabola is going to become negative half times x is going to be negative half x squared negative half times x now negative half times negative 4 look negative and negative positive a half times four, two x. Two x. Negative half times three. Negative times positive, negative. Okay. Half times three is going to be three over two. And this is going to be a parabola. So, yeah, that's how you get parabola, man. So, find a question of parabola. That's how you get your parabola. So, let's go to the next party. So, another solution because I told you I'm going to show you two, two solutions, right? So, alternative. So how everybody can see, I hope everybody can see. So let me show you another methodology, right? So this is optimum solution for this question. So let me show you other methods. So I hope everybody can see. So let me show you other method now. So other method, excuse me, let's just try to go faster, cool. So other method, you can.
can just say this, but this is another method too. But this method only you use when they give to you turning points. Like see for this case, we have a turning point, so you can use that method. But if you don't have a turning point, please don't do, don't use this method. Right? You can use, but uh, we kind of use when you have a turning point. But the, just me the method just you use now, the one that I just erased now, you can use even if they give points. Just in case you didn't give this point here, and they give a point here, it was going to work. But for this method here, I'm showing you, it only works when they give turning points. Only the coordinate is here. So only the, when you have an X intercept and this coordinate, it has to be here only. And then you're going to use this method I'm using now. But the previous method, even if let's say this coordinate was going to be here, let's say I assume let's say we had a negative one and negative four. The previous method is going to work. But for the, this method I'm using now, no, nope, it wasn't going to work. Only when it's turning points like how we give it. So it's okay. Let's write another method. How we say it? It's okay. Why? Equal to a x minus h square plus k. Well, by h and k are tiny points. h and k are tiny points. So this h and k are tiny points. It's okay. h and k, these are tiny points. See, that's what I'm saying. It has to, you can only use this method only when they get tiny points. So this x and k are tiny points. So now we're going to say, okay, so let's solve it now. So, okay. So let's have to do whatever we have. So now, okay, so we have a ton of points. So let's plug in ton of points, see? Y equal to A. Okay, X, what is the ton of points? Three, so H equal to three. Square, I mean, this is ton of points, ton of points, okay? Plus, what is the other ton of points? Y, I mean, this is K, is the Y bar of ton of points, which is equal to two. Then after that now, <coughs> excuse me, you can use either this X intercept or the other X intercept to get the value of a so for example let's say use uh zero five let's say okay i'm gonna use this is zero five so because zero five also lie on this parabola you know what i'm saying so it's okay so i have a zero and five which lies on this parabola on the parabola on this parabola so for that case now i can substitute them in this equation so what is my y y equals five equal to a because i want to get a then x what is the x x equal to zero minus three square plus five so let's simplify to get uh, to get a so this is going to be five equal to and then this is going to be a and zero minus three negative three negative three square equal to nine and then plus five it's going to be nine plus five now this is going to be bring five back <coughs> excuse me so now you say bring five back excuse me so let's bring your five backs excuse me so now we say All right, so I did find a mistake here, right? He says, what is my mistake? My mistake is the coordinate that applied here was wrong. I say zero five. It's not zero five, man. Come on, man. This x intercept is five zero, so it's not zero five, it's five zero. Excuse me. So I'm gonna have to reply again. I have to reinsert again. So it's five and zero. So it's five and zero. We see lies on this parabola. So I'm gonna have to apply what is y? Y is zero equal to a and then x. What is my x? X is equal to five. So this has to be five. 5 minus 3, and then we got square and then plus 2. So 5 minus 2 equal to 2, 2 square equal to 4, so we got 4, a bracket, and then plus 2, and this equal to 0 equal to 2. So now, okay, so this is 4a. 4a go to the back is going to be negative 4a equal to 2. So divide by negative 4 throughout, divide by negative 4, divide by negative 4, so divide by negative 4, and then divide by negative 4, so this and this cancel. So a equal to by 2, 1 by 2, 2, so in this negative, so it's going to be equal to negative a half so a equal to negative a half so we got a so then if you got a we're going to substitute this this one here into tight equation because you want to get quadratic and this is already quadratic but the problem was only we didn't know a so they substitute a back so it's okay so what y equal to a equal to negative a half and then get x minus three and then square plus two so let's expand it now easy man done already so Let's expand it. Let's expand. So I think I can expand here next line here. I mean further. Okay, so it's a negative by half. It's just negative by half. If you expand this, it's like x minus three square minus three times, excuse me, times x minus three and then plus two. So that's all we gotta expand. That's what I have to do, man. That's what I gotta do. So it's okay. So now let's expand. 
So a y, which is parabola, equal to negative a half. Okay, x times x, facial and facial, get x squared. X times negative 3, negative 3x. Three now we go for the second number. Negative 3 times x, negative 3x. Three so, so without negative 3, it's going to be negative 6x. The last one with the last one, plus 9. Plus 9, and then we got plus 2. So now we can simplify further. Down over the saw, this is the same as a. Okay, this is the same as a equal. Let me use that a pen. So that's equal to multiply in. So this is going to be a half. A half times x squared is a half x squared. Okay, uh, negative and negative, positive. Okay, a half times six, three. Now we go, a half, negative and positive is negative. Now, a half times nine, nine over two. And now we have a plus two. Okay, so now we get done our equation. Let's finalize the okay, case. So finally, our y equal to a half x squared. And then we got plus three x. And then, okay, so now we going to say, okay, so we have 9 over 2, negative 9 over 2 means we want to work it out this one quick, see what I'm saying? So we want to work it out these two. Okay, so let's work it out. So negative 9 over 2, so let me work it out here, negative 9 over 2 plus 2 for the people who forgot how to work it out function. So your intention, you want to make the denominator the same, so I'm going to say, okay, so there's a lot of ways you can do for this, but if it's me, I'll try my base to make the denominator the same. So I said, okay. Let me do show. There's a lot of ways, man. Okay, I'm going to multiply. Look, my intention is to be the same. So I multiply by 2 throughout. By 2, by 2. So this is going to, because it didn't make any difference. Look, 2 divided by 2, 1. So I'm going to say negative 9 plus 4 over 2. And this is going to come to. So then it's going to be 2 over negative 9 plus 4 equal to negative 5. So it's going to be negative 2 in a half. Negative 2 in a half. If you don't want to do it like this, so this is going to be negative 2 in a half. Or if you don't want to do it like this, some other people on town, they work like this, man. The question is finished. <laughs> Just do it for, <laughs> Just for fun. So, say, so, so other people on town, it's okay. So it's 9, 9, 4 plus 2. Some people have got fractions, so just to remind you, right? So, one the day you check this, you might apply to the top and this to the, like you. This one to there, so say, any number here, start with this one to a left. So one times negative nine, negative nine. And the plus is plus, come four times two, I mean two times two, four over, and then multiply this two, two. Two times one equal two, two. Okay, my answer. So negative, <coughs> I made a little mistake here, excuse me. Two times two equals four. This is four. So now we say negative five plus, negative nine plus four equals five, over two, but it's negative, so it's gonna be negative two and a half. How many two and five? There are two, and they'll be left with one over two, but it's negative, so it's just a negative two and a half. So this is my final answer. My final answer, or you can say negative five or two, or some people say, yeah, that's easy, man, or oh, yeah, done. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to, uh, you know, leave a comment there, you know, share with other people because, you know, it's very important, you know, there's a lot of people all there who need to uh, help with, and, a lot of people out there, they have a problem with mathematics and they want to get a quick case and an optimum solution and a quick case in, you know, understandable way and the shortest, a quick and more accurate way so you can always recommend people to sign up. And thanks so much for your time. And don't forget to click the subscription button, subscribe button, share with your family, your brother, and your sister. And you know how we do. Thanks a lot, man. This is Toronto Bottle Academy, man. Oh, man. All right, so the equation of parabola, that's the equation of parabola, has to be uh, multiplied negative in. So we're going to say, okay, so y equal to negative a half x squared. And then we multiply this one. You're going to get uh, 3x. And then multiply this one to be 3x. <coughs> Excuse me. That's going to be 3x because negative, negative, for negative, negative, positive, 3x. And this is going to be negative, positive, negative, And this going to be 9 over 2 plus 2. So, okay. So finally, we're going to have negative half x squared plus 3x and this is going to be minus 2 and a half you can work it out the only mistake i did it from the previous right i forgot to put negative here. it has to be negative here right very very important right i forgot to negative so that's how we that's the equation of problem man and for your time i appreciate it.